Now then YouTube, I am the tough man and today I bring you some, some sad news. Many of you will already know it, will already have had a text, a letter, such and, and so forth. Somebody mentioned in my comments yesterday that um, EA was screwing game over. Now I wondered why, I thought well, what the fuck have EA done to, to game uh, as, a, as a whole? And I thought, I, I was wondering about it, so I had a look into it, and, oh well, let me just read you something that um, was leaked by a member of GAME. Last week we held an event for our partners in the industry, and explained the challenges we are facing in the short term, and we asked for their support. So really, what they did is, they got all the, all the geezers together, that have got anything to do with, with gaming and the industry as a whole, uh, a game got them together and said, look, um, we're, in, we're in a bit of trouble here, but, you know, we can get through this, we can do this, and, um, you know, we just need your support. So they continue on, this memo continues on and says, <coughs> and this memo is available on the internet, you can find it, it's, you know, if, if you want to find it. Um, we asked them to trade with us using manageable credit terms and for them to continue to do that whilst we work through the strategic review and refinancing of our business. So basically, gamer in trouble finance, uh, financially. They're probably losing some money somewhere and they're just, you know, they're, they're wanting to reshuffle it and they're wanting to survive as a business, you know, as you would. We gave the industry commitments. We committed to integrity and openness in our dealings and working with everyone equally. So basically they said that if they were going to get any worse, you know, they were going to be open about it and say, look, we're really struggling here, uh, we can't deal with this. Um, and they were going to be open about any dealings, obviously, because that's what they said. Right. Continuing on, it says, we committed to stocking products on which we could get the right credit terms. Only stocking products on which we could get the right credit terms. Regardless of the title, or the supplier. We will not stock products if the terms are not right for our business. We will not sacrifice long-term credit requirements for short-term sales opportunities. So basically they're saying, um, I don't give a shit if you want us to pay this much to stock these kind of games. Um, we're not going to do that if, you know, it, it's not good for us in the long term. It's going to end up, you know, we're going to end up down the shitter even more. And then they went on to, and this is the key paragraph of the memo. As a result of us taking this position, a position that we believe is critical to our long term health as a business, we have taken the very difficult decision not to stock EA's March releases, including Mass Effect 3. Right, this is expanding upon my moan from yesterday. Fucking assholes. EA are absolute wankers through and fucking through. All the other people, everybody else, has said to game, we can work with you. EA have turned around and said, no, we're not going to be working with you. So now... Game, both Game and their sister company Game Station are not stocking any of EA's titles throughout March. So all the people that have pre-ordered, all the people that have gone to, through all that trouble of getting EA's game from Game, game Station or Game have now been told that they can't get it through no fault of Games. Absolutely no fault of games at all. It's EA with the money grabbing bastards that just think about themselves and that is prime example that all them people on Friday are going to be disappointed that they're not going to get Mass Effect 3 through conventional means as in going to the shop, going to game station, picking up their pre-ordered copy. EA have thought to themselves, fuck you, if you haven't got the money to pay us, everybody can get fucked, right? Now that is ridiculous, that just shows you as a company, EA are wankers, they don't give a shit about the consumer, they do not give a shit about all those people who are going to be without that game and that are going to be annoyed and probably upset about not getting that game on fucking Friday, EA don't give a shit, 
Now, EA have said something somewhere else saying it's, it's um, we have no problem with our stocks at all. It's not our problem, it's games' problem, right? So basically they're saying it's got nothing to do with us, it's fuck all to do with us, it's their fucking fault, right? Why is it that uh, Game and Game Station are the biggest retailers, um, dedicated retailers in the UK, right, for games? Okay, game and game station. Yet yeah, they may be struggling. They may be struggling against these fucking second-hand shops, the sex shop, and all that. And I don't mean sex, you know, the C E X shop, whatever you want to call it. They might be struggling against all of these kind of thing. But they've gone to the actual retailers who they've been supplied by for fucking years, right? And they've said, "Look, lads, we need a bit of help here with the credit that you're asking us to give you." Right? And um, basically everyone else has turned around and says, we can work with you, we can do this, you know, we'll give you this amount, um, we can say that you can have this much for so much, and they've dealt with it. EA have turned around and said, no, if you can't give us that money, we're not going to give you the fucking stuff. And Game have said, fine, fair enough, we're going to stick to our fucking guns and we're going to say no. And fucking spot on, spot fucking on, game and game station. Finally, some bastards are sticking up for them to them wankers from. I don't know if they're probably based in America. They're probably fucking wankers. The fucking lot of them across the board. Absolutely ridiculous here. Absolutely ridiculous. All those people that you are fucking letting down for this. And they're seeing it. They're not seeing it that the game's letting them down. They're seeing that you are letting them down. And they, I, game, of, game and Game Station have all said that, you know, we'll give you £5 worth of reward vouchers or elite points, right? Me, I am not fussed about that. If I think that my high, my high street retailer of the biggest, you know, the biggest chain of dedicated games people are going down the shitter, right? Do you really think we're going to go in there and take a fiver off you? Just imagine all the people that have pre-ordered Mass Effect that go in and say, I want a fiver back now because you've fucked me about. They haven't fucked you about. It's EA that have fucked you about. Get on to them wankers. Get a fucking email. Give them an email. Give them a fucking letter. I know I'm going to be saying something to them bastards. I tell you, I'm going to be fucking emailing them cunts and giving them peace of my fucking mind. Absolute arseholes. You selfish motherfucking bastards. That's all I've got to say on the issue. Please leave some comments underneath because I want to hear everybody else's um, point of view on this. Now, you could look at it from the other point of view and say, well, you know, EA are a business as well. They've got a business to run. They've got money to make. But surely, at the end of the day, if the customer is not happy, you've got to sort it out. Because if the customer's not happy, they're going to go somewhere else. That is the basics of business, right? I just can't believe that EA have done what they've done. I just cannot believe it. And fucking thank God, Game and Game Station have ste you know, stepped up and said, we're not going to be bullied into this. We're not going to be bullied into paying your ridiculous price to stock your games. So not only now is Mass Effect gone, FIFA Street is not going to be supplied. Fucking yes! Get that shit out of the shops anyway! Shouldn't even fucking be here! Bag of shit! No fucking buy it, full stop! You know what, I'm getting to the point of actually starting a fucking petition and saying don't fucking buy any EA products. But you can't really do that because it's hitting the developer, not the publisher. Because that is just bullshit. I'm going to work on some anyway because I think this is fucking stupid. Absolutely ridiculous that EA are managing to do this and bully people into paying certain amounts. I can't fucking believe it. And when they've gone, when Game Station and Game have gone and said, look, we're finding it a bit hard in this economic climate of doing this kind of, of payments. So, you know, as it, you work it out. You work it out. No, EA haven't worked it out. EA haven't worked it out at all. They've just said, if you can't fucking pay it, fuck you. That's basically what they've done. I just can't fucking believe it. Can they stoop any lower? Can they get any worse as a company? First they moan about people getting pre-owned games, right? And they bring this online passing. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me.
It's me fucking shouting and screaming. First they bring that in. And I see that, right? I see that to a point I think it's reasonable, okay? Then they start with this bullshit about charging more for DLC that's available on release, right? Bullshit, in my opinion. That is just ridiculous. It should be in there if it's part of the fucking game, you know. It shouldn't be available on day one. If it's available on day one, it should be in the game, right? Nothing should be added to it until a few months later, okay? Just like the Call of Duty with the maps. You don't see more maps coming out on day one, do you? Bullshit. No, you fucking don't. I'm absolutely fucking seething at EA. Could, if my opinion couldn't get any worse, it just fucking has, right? And me personally, I would say, you know, fuck EA. I'm not going to buy anything of theirs any anymore. Nothing. But it hits the developer. It hits the developer rather than the fucking publisher, right? I think all of us needs to get onto Bioware and say and just say to them. Do you know the publishers you're fucking working with there? Do, I, do you realise what the consumer, as a whole, thinks of EA? I hope to God that every single developer out there thinks to themselves, hang on a minute, they fucking screwed everybody over with nearly everything that they've fucking done. I don't really want to be associated with them. Come on, developers, get behind me. Fuck them. Fuck EA, go and find some other publisher that will give the customer what they fucking want. And that is a good quality, decent fucking service, and none of this bullshit that comes with it. Anyway, I've had my moan about EA plenty and plenty and plenty of times. This is just one to add to it. I just can't believe that they'd stoop any lower, but fuck me, they have. Now they've put our two biggest fucking retailers of, you know, dedicated fucking gaming people, they've put them in the shit for March, and I just find that absolutely out-fucking-rageous. Absolutely outrageous. Please, like always, please leave a like, leave a comment, hit the favourite, it does help me massively all the time. Um, and uh, I will see you guys for another moan, probably about a year, in a couple of months fucking time.